Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the important information from here in Goa about scams. I'm going to tell you about important information. I'll tell you about fines, uh, things that could get you in trouble. And basically, if you're coming to Goa, things you should be aware of and not in get into any trouble. So guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Moses J. Sildana. I'm a local from Goa. I do videos here almost every day, showing you some of the most beautiful places to check out. So now this has come to my attention for the last couple of years. I've been doing YouTube and I have over 3.5 crore of viewers. Many of you have been watching my videos for a long time. And you know, every time people keep on messaging me and telling me their feedback about their trip, uh, what experiences they have gone through. And these are some of the scams uh, and important information that I've got feedback from my viewers who have sent me messages and told me these are the problems that they have faced uh, during their time here. And you know, I just want you guys to be aware of if you're coming to Goa, what to know. And I'm going to tell you about hotels, I'm going to tell you about b bikes, car rentals, everything, what ever places that you could fall into trouble so watch this full video because even the smallest of details could completely ruin your holiday here in goa so i want you guys to be aware uh, this is just basically for public knowledge and safety uh, you know these are things that i have got as i mentioned feedback from my viewers so i have not faced any of these things personally but you know i just want you guys to be aware of the things that happen here first of all let's talk about cars and bike rental now this is where you know most of you could face this and most of you could could happen to you so the first thing that happens with car or bike rentals is you know because a lot of uh, people use these same vehicles every day uh, there's a lot of scratches and dents and bumps into the car or bike you know so always make sure to take a video of you know your full bike or car which you're renting and make sure to take a video of every single dent make take your camera your mobile and go into every dent and say okay there's a scratch here there's a scratch there there is a dent here there is a bump there even take the thing on your mobile under the car and show that if there is any bumps or scratches guys this happens quite a lot it's not intentional that you know many of these people are trying to scam you or anything sometimes they just think that it was done by you and because you know they don't pay attention sometimes so always make sure to check every part of the vehicle and mention now another way to get you know good information about knowing if the car or bike rental place is genuine and you know they have not done this to other customers before is to search on google uh, for their particular shop and you can read the reviews now easy way to find car and bike rentals in goa is to find the place which is closest to you suppose you are staying in kalangut hotel what you do is you search go to google and say bike rental near me or car rental near me so it will become very easy for you and you will understand how to find it around your area and first thing you should read is always reviews you should have at least 20 reviews or more and if they have a five star reviews or 4.5 star reviews sometimes you know people give silly reviews for stupid things but i want you guys to know that you know if there has any scams or they've said you know they've cheated me or anything like that it's always important to know okay so that is about car and bike rentals now let's talk about hotels now halt hotels this is not really a scam that happens but what happens is especially this happens during season time now in season time what happens is there's a lot of rush that is coming to goa there's thousands of people coming into goa not even thousands there's lakhs of people coming into goa so this is usually from november to january this happens is that the hotels tend to be full now many of you do bookings online and tend to put that online option of you know pay at hotel now many times because you know many people cancel at the last moment these hotels are not sure if you're going to come or not come so if sometimes if you are reaching late or you have early check-in or something like that some mix-up happens and then they give your room away to somebody else it's not really a scam if the hotel is just trying to protect themselves because peak season the hotel rates are double triple whatever so always they try to protect themselves by you know giving the room to somebody else if you don't show up by 12 o'clock usually 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock is check-in so always make sure to email the hotel or call the hotel and give them a particular timing that you are coming so that you don't get into trouble also the hotel uh, you know in season time this the christmas week 
this happens every day many of you will end up with hotel not even having a hotel because they have already given your rooms to somebody else because you made this mistake so always make sure to call them or another option is to do the pre booking with the payment before i'm not trying to you know tell you guys to pay before but it, that is always a more safer option uh, and do it from a trusted website like make my trip or agoda or any of these websites which you know has a service center which if any any issues happen you know they will pick up your calls and find you another hotel or something like that because if you do directly you know pay the hotel directly sometimes they, you might not get a refund or these hotels don't have a refund option or something like that so you should not get into trouble now next thing which we are going to talk about is water sports now this is something that happens on a daily basis here and so many of my viewers have messaged me that you know the it i mean it happens to half of you so what happens is in every my, of my videos i always mention go to the counter and do the water sports you don't have to book water sports through an agent or anything there are lots of these agents on the beach now a few of them are scammers who will take the money and run away and you know say that okay i'm going to get the ticket and never come back okay this happened to some of my viewers but then some of them you know will uh put their commission of 2 300 extra 500 extra when you could directly go to the counter and book your water sports every beach has a counter this little box and all the prices are mentioned if you want to know watch all my videos i mention all the prices of each and every beach the water sports prices so you can definitely check out you just type my name and baga beach kalangut beach anything now night clubs now this is a problem which happens quite a lot uh this is not because they are trying to scam you but sometimes it happens is because there is so much of crowd uh they tend to put extra drinks on your name because you know they don't know who is with whom so they tend sometimes it happens this is something that many of my viewers have told me and it could happen in any of the clubs even if they are like some fancy club or even the smallest of clubs this happens quite a lot and sometimes it's not intentional guys so always when you are buying a drink pay for each and every drink one at a time don't buy you know say at the end of the night i'm going to pay for uh, 10 drinks at the end of the night this is usually where you could fall in trouble because suppose you bought seven and then they'll say oh you you actually bought 10 because somebody else you know sometimes some other person comes along and says no i'm with them also and this happens quite a lot so make sure to always pay on time and pay in advance now in the this thing let me tell you about like you know people think oh i'll get a girl in the club or any of these type of thing guys in goa there's nothing such as girls or anything if there is any girl issue in anything please stay away from that because there's no way you'll get a girl in goa these are usually some scam that will happen to you so you know even if a girl comes up to you and says buy you a drink no way any girl is going to walk up randomly and say buy you a drink so please stay away from any girl matter if guys come on the road and tell you there are girls on you know i'll get you a girl or this and that please stay away there is 100% no, i'm telling you that you will not get any girls here if you are coming for that reason please don't come to goa also those are not the reasons to come to goa enjoy this place is so beautiful uh, but yeah no clubs will get you girls and if you get a girl also they'll ask you to buy expensive drinks for them and at the end of the night you are not going to get anything from this girl maximum she's going to talk to you for some time buy make you buy expensive drinks and suddenly you have a bill of 10000 rupees in the club so make sure to you know be aware about that massage center in massage centers the only thing i said there's no girl is things in goa massage centers the only massage you are going to get is a proper body massage because if you try to complain and say oh they promised me this and that why these agents on the road you are not going to get anything it's illegal for any type of this thing this is not thailand so please keep in mind that these massage centers everything is all if you are trying to get any of those things it's not real you are not going to get anything tattoos now tattoos what happens is many people tell me uh, you know i got a tattoo it turned out to be rubbish this and that this is because you guys go to these tattoo parlors on the beach road which charge you 30 rupees per inch guys what are you going to expect for 30 rupees per inch some people even say 20 rupees per inch and then they do these tattoos for you within a few days the ink is going to start fading uh, you know see i have tattoos these have lasted me for years and years but I do it in a good place because they use good quality ink and you don't get into you know all those patchy patchy things is if you use these cheap quality inks your tattoo starts to fade and goes quite spread out and what happens is you're going to get a complete rubbish look to it 
so don't do a tattoo in some of these cheap places where you're going to end up with a rubbish tattoo ball and cup games now these are one of the biggest scams which happens all over the world it's not only goa it happens everywhere it's like those small disc with a number one on it they have three of them and then they do it up and down you could even end up getting beaten up because some of these have like gangs of guys from some other states that come here and do it i've not seen it much uh, it happens once in a while but this is something that somebody has mentioned uh many of you have actually messaged me and told me this is what is happening uh like you know i put 500 rupees on this thinking i would win and the number was not there it's because they all the three discs have no number they are so good with their hands they make it disappear somehow they are like magicians so make sure not to get into that okay now another thing is uh this win a prize scam now this is like a scratch card that people tell me i don't know many couples have told me this happened to them I've never really seen these people before but uh there's like this scratch card thing it happened to me in uh, same thing happened to me when I was in Himachal but you know I just want to tell you guys there's this scratch card and there's like they tell you you can win a TV you can win a fridge you can win something something and the f- most of the times you win a free hotel stay which is not real they take you it's it's not a scam really it's a time share they try to sell you a time share they did this to me in himachal i ended up sitting there for 2 hours wasted my time it happens the same thing happens here is a time share basically they're trying to sell you holiday packages for goa where you can come every year and get a particular time share in goa now that is one of the things so if you get these scratch card people yeah this is what's going to happen to you so and you're not going to get any of those free hotel at all so okay casinos now casinos there are no really scams in casinos it's just basically you play if you win you win if you not no so what happens to many of our viewers is you guys get greedy if you win maybe 5000 sometimes then you will try to put that 5000 put 10000 and you end up losing everything it's because what happens is in the casinos you have free alcohol you end up drinking so much uh, this is not a scam again this is just basically inf- important information for you guys to know is when you are drinking in the cuz you know you know you feel that oh i'm going to win i'm going to win sometimes it happens like why met one guy he was crying he said he lost about 3 lakhs is because he first put 10000 and then he next he put more and more of course you have to play with your own safety and you know if you are going to a casino only take a certain amount if you don't want to lose more if you are a gambler and want to lose that's up to you so yeah now i'm going to tell you a few other things that are here i'm just checking my list to tell you guys so yeah uh sorry yeah okay so the next thing is precious stones now precious stones uh, many people tell me that they try to buy these precious stones on the beach Uh, on the road and it ended up being fake guys who sells precious stones on the road or a beach this is obviously going to be a scam so don't try to buy precious stones they say oh, i bought a ruby for like 10000 rupees on the road like how smart you have to be to know that or how dumb you have to be to know that nobody is going to sell you a real authentic stone on the beach or on the road so if you are going to get bite then that's your problem you understand now beach beds let me talk about beach beds beach beds um, most people tell me you know i got scammed on beach bed that they charged me so much money for the beach bed it's because guys uh, for beach beds in goa it is 100 rupees per hour it is not for the whole time so people you know think oh they said 100 rupees only and i sat down there and i sat sat for 4 5 hours yeah so always it's 100 rupees per hour pay the 100 rupees first only get that coupon from them and then only stay over there uh other scams which happens as i mentioned anything with girls don't do it so yeah guys these are few of the important information that i wanted to share with you and now our viewers have faced before but if you have any further questions please comment down below uh let me just tell you about drinking and driving last option so now if you're drinking and driving then make sure to know that do not drink and drive because the fine here is up to 10000 rupees for drinking and riding uh, other fines that you have on the beach here are very you know strict now is if you are drinking on a beach if you buy alcohol from a shop and drink on the beach then you will get a fine of up to uh, 5000 onwards which can go up to 50000 depending on the severity of the crime uh 
if you want to drink you can drink at any of the shacks you can drink at any of the restaurants not a problem at all but yeah guys these are some of the important information and yeah if you're drinking and riding don't do it don't drink and drive or if you're going to do it get a taxi and yeah so anyway guys that is it from here in goa if you have any further questions as i mentioned comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you guys